Okay, so we started to talk about shear strain right at the end of the class that day, and, I, and the mistake I made was in, in labeling this angle as um, 2 epsilon xy. So we have the angles alpha and beta. What we're going to do is we're going to label the addition of the 2 as 2 alpha xy. So it, it was incorrect for me to write that. Right? So it's not that angle. That, that angle in between would be pi over 2 minus those 2 alphas, right? Or pi over 2 minus 2 alpha, or epsilon xy. So we're basically just going to, we're going to call the shear strain 2 epsilon xy as the sum of these two angles. Okay. So then from the figure, we can write down what the angle alpha is. It's just, again, alpha is just the, the, the tangent uh, of opposite over adjacent. Right? So if we want to figure out what the, what the angle is, it's tangent of uh, the opposite over the adjacent. And so the opposite is this distance here, which is labeled. Right? It's this distance here. So it's partial uy, partial x dx. Adjacent, which is this is dx plus this little piece, which is uh, partial ux, d partial x dx. And if you remember from last time when we were talking about this, we were assuming that all these angles are small. Like all, I mean, all of the, the strains are small. And strictly, our, our definition of small is that the gradient of u, the magnitude of the gradient of u is much, much less than 1. And so if alpha is small, so for small alpha, then the tangent of alpha is approximately equal to alpha. Right, this would be so for small alpha, the tangent would be approximately alpha. So therefore, alpha is approximately equal to what's inside there. So like that, all the dx's can cancel. So you have partial uy partial x over 1 plus that guy. And so then again, using our definition of small, in the denominator here, we have 1 plus something small. Right? So we're just going to say that 1 plus something small is approximately 1. And then that, that goes away, and you're left with just the numerator. Like that. And you can work the same logic with beta. And what you would find out is that beta is partial, uh, uh, partial ux, partial y. And then, so since we have 2 epsilon xy is equal to alpha plus beta, which is equal to that guy, or So 
Yeah, so, so epsilon xy is 1 over 2 partial u of x, partial y, partial u of y, partial x. So the, the x component, this is the x component, you take the derivative with respect to y, this is the y component, you take the derivative with respect to x. Now the 2, I know is just a curiosity at this point. But, I mean, that's just something we chose, right? We just said we we're, we're just going to, in, in other contexts, you would call this guy the engineering strain. You might call it gamma. You might remember that from solids. But, uh, you know, this is just our definition. And putting the two there turns out to be convenient. Uh, you'll see why in just a second. 